Thank you very much. Good stuff. I will be with you right in a moment. Thank you so much, Gustav. It's a, it's a real pleasure. Emotionally, you are the most important convention in Davos, by far. Emotionally. Um, and um, it is really true that uh, end of March and beginning of April, we are, uh, we hoteliers from Davos, we are always looking forward to have you back. And uh, we hope for another 46 years having you back here in Davos. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and it's an honor for me to talk about a very emotional event too, World Economic Forum Annual Meeting. Um, and it's, he, he gave me the mission to say it's infotainment, huh? A little bit behind the scenes. Let's talk about people um, and not too serious. Uh, well, a little bit serious, but not too. Uh, so infotainment. Um, before I really start with my speech, um, let me introduce really my deepest thanks to 46 years of loyalty to the convention to Davos. I think this is incredible. And that Mr. Brown is here, this is really amazing uh, what you have achieved. And uh, we are really, really take, uh, thankful in the name of all locals here. Thank you so much. I can even mention one more thing. Uh, also, thanks to the convention, to your convention, Davos may look forward to a bright future. And now the World Economic Forum. Um, it, yeah, how should I start? Um, maybe a few figures. Um, four, between 40 and 50 head of states. Between 50 and 70 Nobel Prize winners. Over 50 presidents of NGOs, non-governmental uh, organizations like Red Cross, Greenpeace, Amnesty, Amnesty International, and so forth. Thousands of the most influential companies and revenues producers represented by the directors of board of CEO or CEOs. This is, is amazing. It's amazing stuff what's going on up here. And for us, it's the most profitable time a year. Uh, for with this hotel, I approximately 35% of the annual re revenue in five days. So you could imagine what happens if they would de say one day, we want to go away from Davos. That happened in 2002. Uh, my heart was shaking around, um, but th that will be uh, a little bit later. The total number of participants is only 2,500. That's not so impressive, um, but followed by the 2,500 participants are more than 10,000 people. And it is assumed that approximately 40% of the gross social product worldwide is represented in Davos during the five days. And um, prepared is the World Economic Forum from an organization is called World Economic Forum. Uh, the headquarters is in Colony, in uh, close to Geneva. 450 people are working all year round to prepare the, the regional summits. And the regional summit is Europe, Asia, America, Africa, and uh, where they um, choose local topics and uh, issues about what's important for them and, and the preparation and the results of the regional summits. They bring it here to Davos end of January for five days. What was at the very beginning the initial idea of Professor Schwab? He had actually two really important uh, um, uh, ideas. And the first was a reaction at those times, the end of the 60s, an answer to the American dominance in management models. That was the one thing. And the second was and to find answers to the complexity of the world. And uh, he told me that once in a very good sentence, and he said, it's nice to become richer and more successful, but when everything is falling apart around you, your fortune will not help you either, so please 
stick together and let's find solution that we can live much longer on, a, on that global planet. And the main idea was bring together not only the politicians, it's also the, 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 the key elements from science, from business, from uh, culture, from sport, from all religions. So all section of uh, the society should delegate people here to Davos. And this is up to me really amazing. It was called in the back in the it started in 71 as European Management Symposium. And that was immediately a, a success with 1,500 participants. And it became, after eight years, another name, the name we have today, World Economic Forum Annual Meeting Davos. With a very important, uh, exciting claim, strong, strong statement, commitment to improving the state of the world. Um, I, I don't know if, if, if you think it's, this is a little bit exaggerated, uh, but it's a strong statement, uh, at least I can say. Like you, a little bit, uh, just one year, or 44, 44 years, is now World Economic Forum in Davos, with one exception. In 2002, uh, as a reaction of 9-11, they went to New York, to the Waldorf Astoria. And um, the Waldorf is uh, so big, like Davos and Klosters together, because we need, need the whole region. Uh, and at the Waldorf Astoria, they, they could uh, uh, have the whole meeting. That was an earthquake for us here in Davos. It was a waking him call. It was a, a very cruel moment because that was the time, um, 2000, 2001, that uh, a lot of anti-globalization movement was on and um, the public of Davos was not so much in favor of having back the World Economic Forum because of that anti-globalization movement. And Professor Schwab uh, decided to go for first time, and I hope also for the last time, to New York and to find out uh, would that be an alternative to Davos. And for us, it was a very cruel moment and we prayed a lot that they hopefully will come back. What they did at the very end of the uh, four, five days at the Waldorf Astoria in New York, they did a survey among their participants, and even the American voted to go back to Davos. Why did they? They did that because they said it's impossible to to meet people in a big town like New York after the official meeting, everyone disappears. Here in Davos, they stick together, you find them. So that was a very uh, important moment and uh, Professor Schwab uh, then decided to go back to Davos and, uh, and also because of that coming back, uh, it changed a lot and uh, uh, the result is, for example, that convention center here. Uh, we expanded a lot, and a new hotel came up to Davos, and, and uh, uh, many things happened in a positive way for Davos. Today is um, the World Economic Forum. Uh, the 2,500 participants are protected by 5,000 security people. Police, military staff are active. And a typical Swiss question is always, in demo direct democracy, what does that cost? A typical Swiss question. They never ask what brings it in, no, no, what does it cost? It costs something, nine million Swiss francs. Nine million Swiss francs with a, a, a um, total revenue of 100 million brings back is a good, actually it's a good business, right? But it's not only about mi um, uh, money, I think it's also a very important message for Switzerland. The neutrality of Switzerland can be shown how important that is and that we are capable to organize such an important event. 
Davos is very easy to protect. The air, uh, airspace, of course, is closed. And Davos is only reachable by two roads. Everything else is closed. Airport Zurich, for example, the, tra the whole transportation system between Zurich and Davos, cargo, etc., uh, they declare it as the most profitable days of the year. Davos, of course, in, in Davos, you can only walk around as participants with a batch system. And the batch system works like uh, with colors. Uh, everyone is greedy to get a white color patch because white color patch allows to get to every location you want to. And there are many events going on, very exciting ones. I will show you a, a few you see behind me. Some standards of security are uh, equally as uh, in an international airport. You cannot enter to the Congress Hall, for example, or the Belvedere without check, uh, several checks. The hotel I was resp uh, representing for 15 years is not so big as it looks like. It's uh, 240 beds. Uh, fully booked is 240, 250 people. The biggest event we had is uh, New Year's Eve uh, with 440 people. But during the World Economic Forum, we are organizing over 220 events every day, around 900 breakfasts, 1,500 lunches and over 2,500 dinners in 35 different locations with the same infrastructure of 240 people we normally are. So uh, you understand it's a very exciting uh, duty. Uh, it's a very exciting work we, we had to do. And we increased the number of employees from 150 or 400. And all 400 people worked between 14 and 21 hours per day during five days of the period of the World Economic Forum. There was no problem to find people well paid, but in an extremely well motivated team, they always wanted to come back. And the number of extra people were to 95% former employees they used to work for me. The Baba there was. Um, the principle, and still is, and now that will be changed with the new situation of the hotels, the principal social location with over 220 events. We can rate it uh, the 35 of annual revenue during the five days. So you, you can imagine how important that was. Um, it was not only exciting, it was also very important. The location system of the 2,500 participants is, uh, works like that, that um, the WEF decides who locate, uh, who, uh, which hotel they are qualified for. That helped us a lot. Could you imagine uh, Palestinians or Israel in the same hotel, and uh, one is in a higher standard uh, hotel than the other problems? So they organized the whole uh, distribution of rooms. As you see in some picture here, uh, events means really exciting events. Google party with the founder of uh, Google, Larry Page, or uh, Sergey Prin, Sergei Prin, or the Facebook party with Zuckerberg, or uh, Microsoft party with Bill Gates, or Super Bowl party a couple of, 10 years ago was a Super Bowl party exactly during the period of the World Economic Forum. And we had an incredible party in the pool area uh, with Bill Clinton playing saxophone behind what's the Super Bowl going on. Really exciting. Or we had uh, jam sessions with uh, Quincy Jones, Lan Ritchie, and uh, Gilberto Schill for 10, 20 people. That's really part of spirit of Davos. That's what they say. Uh, what is really the spirit of Davos? The uh, spirit of Davos is <laughs> just a unique situation, bringing so many exciting people in the same spot. People who normally never stay two nights in the same bed because they're always traveling around. And here, they are constantly the whole week here. And um, it's like the convention review. Um, 
um, for us, it's an incredible honor and privilege to have them back every year uh, because that um, creates also friendship and we have too many really good people, important people in the world, friendship, um, like also here with you convention. Media is an important role, became an important role. Uh, for example, CNN or CNBC display permanent logos on their screens. It's like the Olympics, uh, five rings. Constantly, 24 hours was Davos 2014. That's, that's Sergey Brin. Um, that's quite uh, amazing. I think the extension of the convention center and construction of new hotels could not be feasible without World Economic Forum, to be real honest with you. Because that creates really opportunities, and I think um, Davos did that well the last past year, and we still have a good work to do for the future. The important lesson uh, for me was always, and I always uh, where I asked myself, why do participants constantly return? Why do they want to come back? I mean, it costs an annual uh, membership between 70 and 80,000 Swiss francs uh, without location. So it costs something. But what really makes them to come back in an informal place far away from, 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 from big cities? I, thought it's, I think it's because of two reasons. First, and uh, that's very similar to what happens with your uh, convention here, actually. Um, that's an incredible trust building reverse to Professor Schwab. People really believe that he, and he is still president, that he puts together a program which is so fascinating and so in important that I want to share that moment. And this is trust building. And this is impressive. And the second, the second reason, maybe that's the same reason you want to come back here. I hope that's one of the reasons. Feeling they may have missed something had they not attended. When I, when people, guests checked out at the hotel at the Belvedere, I very often told, asked them, are you coming back next year? And very often they, they told me, no, I, I think I've done it. It's, it's, I've seen it. A couple months later, they were again on the list. And many of them that became good friends to me, and I called them and said, well, hey, you're on the list again. You told me you're not coming back. And they very often said, yeah, I think I missed something, and that's not good. And in, I'm in the event management. This is a very good uh, claim this is a very good thing to transform a feeling that you miss something if you are not part of it. That's great. I think this is great. And he did that. He achieved that. Some participant, uh, Al Gore, um, told me once five days of Davos saves him three months of traveling. Of course, of course, because everyone is here. A daily um, working day for those participants uh, includes between 25 and 35 meetings. Because everyone is here. And this is exciting. Uh, it's not only for personal reasons, it's also really being part of changes in global systems. And what is interesting is, is, is because it's not only politicians or only business people or only science people or only NGOs or culture or sport, it's all together. And that makes it a nice, fascinating mixture. This is unique and unrevealed. The question is, will World Economic Forum annual meeting continue to come back to Davos, up to me, it's not a given. It depends. Depends on, and that's right, so, it depends on if there are not too much uh, exaggeration, exaggeration in price rise. And 
That's because those people, they can afford to pay, to pay anything, everything for what they want. And that's, a, that's, that's one issue. There are other issues too. Depends also on the successor of Professor Schwab. He's now around 75. And there are rumors since a couple of years that Bill Clinton will be his successor. I don't think so because he founded his own Clinton Foundation, but it's possible. Up to me, it's even more realistic as Mrs. Schwab may be a good alternative. Let me talk about a few uh, personality you see behind me. Of course, the, one of the really exciting moments was 2000 when Bill Clinton as president came. He came afterwards 11 times as former president. Um, he came to Davos with 1,500 people. It was really exciting, and uh, the, the special part about him is he's not only good-looking, so that's more a female thing, uh, but um, he's really a good listener, and he rem remembers what you said a year after. When you get the chance to meet the President of the United States, it's really entering in a bubble because he's so incredibly protected uh, that you think, what, what a crazy life this guy has. Um, and um, and um, when he came to, to the Belvedere, we cleared our apartment and he slept in our apartment even with the atomic suitcases behind him and son's room. Exciting moment. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was very exciting because I was my idol in, in, in my childhood and um, um, heavily treated by Parkinson's disease. But when he walked in the, the, the Belvedere, um, I, never had, I, I never experienced that, that fifth, four, between 40 and 50 photographers put their camera on the floor and applauded him, gave him a hand, and then took the, back the camera and, 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 and took their pictures. So much respect reversed that personality. But also, the contact with Jack Walsh, the CEO of General Electric, was exciting because an incredible rhetoric, fascinating speaker, and uh, a small guy, an incredible hour on charisma, and uh, he electorizes his crowd. Uh, incredible experience for me. Nelson Mandela, he stayed three times here in Davos, um, a living legend, um, a man, yeah, we know, how he, his life was, um, and wonderful moment. I'm pretty, I'm really convinced if WIF, World Economic Forum, did not exist, it should be immediately invented. Regardless of the technical possibilities, Skype, Internet, Intranet, the personal exchange remains most important. And will become even more important for the Y generation. And the Y generation have a completely other value orientation, and it will be even become more important to get together. The conclusion. World Economic Forum for me is a huge opportunity for Davos, of course, for the Canton Grison and Switzerland. But the world profits from their results, I'm absolutely convinced. And we are interested to, to, to see what they achieved the last and failed the last 44 years. You can see in weforum.com, and all the projects are uh, published. The importance will, up to me, will increase in the future. The new orientation of values of the Y generation will accelerate this trend. I'm absolutely convinced on that. I'm very great, great, grateful that World, and, uh, uh, World Economic Forum remains in Davos for the future, but we have to do our job and to do the job right, and there's uh, still a lot of uh, work to do. Hopefully, your convention will do the same. I wish you a very successful convention. Looking forward to this evening with you.
and um, I hope uh, I got some information uh, and uh, I'm more than open for any questions you want to you ask to Davos, to the World Economic Forum, to personality or whatever you are interested. Thank you so much.